Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Roughly 1,000 years prior to the events of A New Hope, the powerful Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Bane, created the Rule of Two, the doctrine that stated there could only be two Sith at one time, a master and an apprentice. From that point forward, the Sith masters and apprentices of the Order would again take up the title of Darth, signifying themselves as Dark Lords of the Sith Order. However, prior to Darth Bane instituting the Rule of Two, the Sith of Bane's time numbered in the thousands, all of which did not take up the title of Darth. But what was their reasoning behind this decision, and what prompted them to abandon this tradition that had been a part of the Sith Order for generations? In the Legends book Darth Bane Path of Destruction, which takes place in roughly 1000 BBY, we're given an inside look at Darth Bane's time training as an apprentice at the elite Sith Academy on Korriban, the original homeworld of the Sith species and the sacred planet of the Sith Order. The Sith of Bane's time were organized as the Brotherhood of Darkness, who rose to power in the last decade of the Galactic Republic's Dark Age and the waning years of the new Sith Wars. Founded by the fallen Jedi Skir Khan, the Sith Brotherhood of Darkness took place of the fragmented Sith Empire after slaughtering many of its most powerful lords. Amongst the Sith Brotherhood of Darkness, all the Dark Lords of the Sith were seen as equals amongst each other. Darth Bane, known merely as Bane at this time, had begun to train as a dark side apprentice at Korriban's elite Sith Academy. During his time on Korriban, Bane trained under several Sith Lords, none of which used the title of Darth. After having lost a duel to a fellow Sith apprentice, Bane was forbidden by the head of the Sith Academy, Lord Cordish, to receive any further training. Lord Cordish would not allow any of the Academy's Dark Lords to train Bane, forcing the Sith apprentice to secretly train with a fellow student by the name of Githany, as well as the Academy's Blade Master, Lord Kasim. Additionally, Bane would also bolster his knowledge of the dark side of the Force by spending more and more time within the Academy's archive, studying the tomes and manuscripts written by the Sith of old, those who wrought havoc throughout the galaxy thousands of years before his time. As Bane studied these materials, he noticed that many of the Sith of old referred to themselves as Darth, which was a practice that had been abandoned by the Sith of his time. One day, as Bane trained with the Sith Blade Master Lord Kasim, he asked Kasim why the Sith of the Brotherhood of Darkness no longer took part in the tradition of taking up the title of Darth. Kasim explained to Bane that it was Lord Skir Khan's decision to do away with the title of Darth, and he chose to do so for several reasons. Khan believed that it was a relic of the past showcasing what the Sith once were, not what they had grown to become. Originally, the Darth title was a way for previous Dark Lords of the Sith to showcase their supremacy over other Sith and their ability to force their will over the other Masters. Taking up the title of Darth was also a challenge, a warning to other Sith to bow down or be destroyed. Because of this, the way of the Sith, and the heart of their teachings, whenever a Dark Lord of the Sith took up the Darth title, deception, betrayal, and infighting would soon follow. Kasim explained that Lord Khan believed that if the Sith continued to take on the mantle of Darth, there could be no peace or stability amongst the Sith of the Brotherhood of Darkness, since any Sith that took up the Darth title would be in opposition to every other Sith within the Order, proclaiming their supremacy amongst those that were supposed to be deemed as equals. Furthermore, the Sith that took up the Darth title would not only expend much time and energy fighting against their true enemies, the Jedi, but also against those Sith within the Sith Order. Lord Lord Khan sought to amend and address this issue to end the wastefulness and folly that had precluded the Dark Lords of the Sith Order from conquering the galaxy and destroying the Jedi. He wanted the Sith to focus their energies on destroying the Jedi and to move away from the infighting that had plagued the Order. Additionally, Kasim informed Bane that those Sith who took the title of Darth revealed themselves to the Jedi and other enemies as a leader within the Sith Order, resulting in them becoming easy targets. These notions, however, did not sit well with Bane. Bane felt that this decision was in opposition of what it truly meant to be a Sith, which was to sow deception and betrayal, to take what you believed was yours, that peace was a lie, and that you should always challenge those with power with which you want to usurp. In Bane's mind, he felt the Sith of the Brotherhood of Darkness abandon the custom of taking the title of Darth out of fear. As time went on, Bane would go on to realize that the Sith of his time were weak and had fully abandoned what it meant to be a true Sith. 
end in opposition to his fellow students and the Sith Masters of the Brotherhood of Darkness, Bane took on the title of Darth, taking one of his first steps towards revolutionizing the Sith Order completely. But that is why the Sith of Bane's time stopped using the title Darth. Do you believe the Sith Brotherhood of Darkness were correct in doing away with the title of Darth, or do you agree with Darth Bane? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars videos? Check out this playlist. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.